Hi again, Jean. Hey, Sue. So we were exploring the significance of coaching um, on a personal level. And now if we think about it at an organizational level, business and work, um, and how that impacts and how that works in that kind of context. One of the things that, that we talked about and that I, I feel very passionate about is this whole idea of presupposition. And in other words, what is it that I take to be true about myself and about the people I'm working with in an organization, in a team, in at Bix, in a group. And uh, I remember vividly in one of my very, very first uh, NLP training sessions in London, where I, I designed an exercise about outcomes. And I had people hold two different presuppositions. One was the presupposition that this person would get their outcome, and then I had them shift to where they presupposed uh, they wouldn't, and then back to presuppose they would. And I said, let's let's just calibrate what what happens. It was a powerful experience. People got lost when the presupposition was you can't get this outcome, and they got the outcome immediately uh, when the presupposition was positive. So I think there's something really powerful there. I can't remember that exercise. Yeah. I certainly, been, yeah, absolutely remember something about that experience. Um, and that's one of the things that I think is a real shift that comes with NLP, is it's a way of paying attention to and looking for and believing in the excellence. And that's exactly. such a big change, I think, yeah. such a, a different direction to the one that's held in many organizations and businesses. Yeah, now one of the things that I, I see you do incredibly well is this whole, the whole sense of how do you create community and, uh, you know, I think that teams actually emerge out of community from a from an NLP standpoint, as opposed to community emerges from team. And when you create that environment, you know, in your case, whether it's India or whether it's in that village in France or whether it's in at Bix, it's all about we together in the whole. And this this point that's really important to me about that part expresses the whole. So when one person speaks up, you know, I'm listening and saying, how is that the group speaking? Um, it's really a powerful thing, and you know, personally, I use that all the time. Well, I've always, I've always the biggest things I think I've learned from you over time is that apply to self. Mm. Um, mm. Is how is whatever I'm experiencing true about myself? How do I bring it back to me? So, if I, in the context of giving feedback, if I'm giving feedback to somebody, how is that true about me? So that I'm identifying with whatever I'm recognizing and owning right. my part in. Right. And I, you know, one of the things about building community and about apply to self is that it, we all experience being critical of other people. And the question is, can we take that criticism and bring it back to ourselves and kind of free the judgment so that we then open the door of relationship to that person? When we do, we actually strengthen community, we build team, we, we create uh, a, a, an environment where talent gets expressed and energy gets released and I think that's something that's really important. And I think that's something that's kind of different from the very traditional ways of building teams, for example, in organizations where jobs have been created and people have been fitted into jobs. But yeah. this is allowing talent to emerge. Exactly. And then looking at how that creates the bonds in the community as a consequence of that. Exactly. Great. I like it.